Oops, I'll even turn the sound up there now. You can hear me. You're tuned to 92.7 ROFM and it's your weekly magazine programme, Wire Up or Watch. And my, main, my name's Rob Weaver and my wife Val is with me this morning. Good morning, Val. Good morning, listeners. And the computer programme, good morning. And who do we have in the studio today, Val? In the studio today we have Kylie Mould, who is the owner and hostess with the mostess at our fabulous tapas bar and restaurant, Balters, in Carterton. Good morning, Kylie, and welcome to the show. Good morning, Rob and Val. Oh, it's good lovely morning. having you here. Yeah. And thank you for taking the time time to come and, and uh, talk to us today. Now, how long have you been in the business now, Kylie? Uh, we opened in April 2017, so around 18 months mm. we've been operating. Oh, wow, that's incredible. Already? It doesn't Already. seem that long. It's gone no, so fast. It yeah, it's amazing. Oh, and when you, you decided to do this business, did you have any previous experience? Absolutely none. None? When I was about oh, 20, <laughs> I worked in a a restaurant in Greece for a summer uh -huh. um, as a waitress and that was you know 20 something years ago oh wow but no we uh, we jumped into it both my husband and I with absolutely no hospitality experience oh so what what happened then one day you just sat down and talked to each other yes and said, well I guess it had been something that we had been the mic in a bit closer. talking about for probably 15 years yeah. about getting into something together in the hospitality industry um, we wanted to work together my husband was a pastry chef uh -huh. um, when he left school so it's always been something that he has wanted to get back into um, I love people and wine so oh, we, thought, we know you love people you're uh, fabulous with yeah people. it's my favorite mm -hmm. and so, your customers love the wine yeah that's right <laughs> so we thought you know maybe we could we could do something together we didn't think this was probably the best time because we have quite a young family mm -hmm. but um, just the yeah. opportunity came up and we decided to grab it. So well, that's it, when the urge comes, you just got to do it, haven't yeah, you? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. So you sat down, you talked about it, you said, this is what you wanted to do. Now, how did the tapas bar come about? When Simon and I go out, we really enjoy eating that style of food. Yeah. So we like to buy, you know, several plates, and yeah. we enjoy sharing, oh, and then gotcha. going out with friends and family, mm -hmm. and um, yeah. and just chatting and sharing. Yeah. It's a slightly less formal oh, way I, of eating. It is. Yeah. It is. It's amazing. And you, and we, when we first went, you know, and we had experienced tapas before from travelling, um, but you know, like men in particular, that it came on the plate. You know, yeah. they go, oh. It's not very much, is it? <laughs> but it's all about the taste, yeah, isn't that's it? Right. That's what we explain to them. It's 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 the content and and um, and everything is um, full and fresh. Yeah, and uh, and men especially and are surprised yes. at how filling it is. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. So. so and what type of um, tapas food do you, you serve? Well, we do. We're looking at. We probably do more of a, a kiwi style. So tapas is is, is a, a Spanish mm -hmm. style generally, and um, but we um, have you know we've got some beautiful food here locally, and you know the wire wrapper in New Zealand. So yes. we've kind of done a kiwi spin on yeah. you know a traditionally Spanish style of eating. Yeah. Um, and it seems to you know be really popular with our local community as well as people coming in from mm. outside of the wire wrapper and around the world. Yeah, I really thought you know the tapas bar in Gadsden. This not is going to work. Stuff, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and craft beer. Like yes. who would have thought? Yes. And many people said to us that it was a silly idea mm -hmm. to do tapas. You need to go mainstream. You do, need to do steaks and and chicken dishes, and you know mm -hmm. just serve you know good old tui. Mm -hmm. um, and we do have tui, and we have some other really yeah. great yeah. you know Heineken, but. We also have a really fabulous selection mm -hmm. of craft and beers. And that in itself has become really, really popular, hasn't yeah. it? We had Ross on a couple of weeks ago uh, telling us all about his Big craft Bar and beer. Brew, yeah. yeah, Big Bar and Brew. And, and uh, he had he was fabulous, wasn't he? Yeah, right. And he's got like 27 uh, beers or yeah, something. Yeah. It's, it's amazing. He'll virtually make beer to order. So. Yeah. So you get stuff from around the, the brewers around the area? Yeah. So... Um, Unfortunately, Ross doesn't bottle anything small enough for us to sell oh, at the bar, okay. but when that does happen, it will be mm -hmm. available at Bolter. But, yeah, we do have some, some local beers, lots of local wine, mm -hmm. um, and all of our local wine comes from Carterton, mm -hmm. um, which is really awesome. We've got yeah. some really beautiful wineries yeah. in Carterton that people kind of forget about with Martinborough right on our doorstep. Yes. Um, we tend to forget about our little Carterton wineries, yeah. but we've got Cotier, we we've got... 
Yona. Um, we've got Yona. Uh, oh, Yona Rosé mm-hmm. at the moment mm-hmm. just come in. So, yeah. Yeah, there's and lots Gladstone, of rosé now, isn't there, for the summer yeah. coming yeah. on. A lot of people are drinking rosé now, aren't they? Yeah. 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 We came across one the other day that was really lovely. Yeah. It? It's never been my favourite, I have to admit. Yeah. Mm. But we were... Uh, Poppies. Poppies. Ah, yeah. oh, wonderful. Yeah. yeah. Oh. <laughs> it was I haven't made it there yet. You haven't? But I must. It's, uh, yeah, it's, that, that's, I did it for a gift for friends yeah. for a birthday, and, um, and they invited us along too, which was nice. <laughs> But it's, it's a an experience. Yeah. It's an experience. Yeah, no, I've heard it is. Yeah. Okay. Well, you've got to make some time for yourself and get out to Poppy's. Ah, oh, absolutely. Yeah. Well, you've just got to get make time for yourself when you're in business like that, Kylie. Yeah. I mean, what time did you start in the morning? Well, you know, we well we have people in the kitchen, so we've got a really great kitchen crew, mm-hmm. and they um, they start at, you know at nine o'clock and they work through prepping for our evening. Mm-hmm. Um, I generally I drop my son off at daycare at nine, mm-hmm. and then it's pretty much into I go to the gym, mm-hmm. that, which is my little bit of soul food. You've got to have that. Yeah. yeah. Um, and and then my day starts at around ten thirty, yeah. just with organising, um, marketing, paperwork. Yeah. Um, doors open at three Wednesday and Thursday, so mm-hmm. as soon as those doors open, there is a queue at the door, yes. and we do not stop until we close yeah. the doors at night. Yeah, we, we've been queuing at, at lunchtime. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> There's always a queue, which is a really great sign. It is. And I actually had a wine rep in yesterday dropping off some wine from Wellington and he was in at four o'clock and I had about eight or nine tables and he said we're in the wire app at yeah. four o'clock in the afternoon are yeah. you going to go and have yeah. so many people sitting and eating yeah. and drinking and kids everywhere yeah. it was really great for him to yeah. see. Well, you certainly get those bums on seats, honey. Oh, certainly. Do. Halloween, especially, we yes, had yesterday. the most yeah. fabulous night. We had lots of kids in trick or treating. Yeah. But the the twist was that they had to dance for their treat. Huh. So no one got a treat out of my <laughs> lolly jar until they did a little dance, and everyone you know played along. And I even oh. had a tap dancer. Yeah. I had a skateboard track. Oh, you know, okay. and the kids really got into it. So. so they all come out with their not only their their trick and treating, they come yeah. out with their talent too. Absolutely, a lot oh. of boltering was going on oh, from the youngsters yeah. so yeah. yeah no it was great and oh. my staff dressed up so it was a yeah. really fun night brilliant yeah. and that's what you're all about and you, you've really mm. made Carterton come alive yeah so. well, I'd like to think so it's nice mm. to see our high street full of cars yeah. at night people drive mm. through and are wondering yeah. where everyone are, is yeah. and yes. you know they're yeah. with well, us if you're driving through folks park behind the white joke <laughs> 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 that's right the imitation <laughs> Patsy <laughs> Okay, I think we'll have a wee music break now. Take give, a music us, break? give us um, okay, a little we'll bit of a break there, and we're going to play um, a Benny Hill number. Uh, it oh, goes sorry. way back from the 50s sometime, but it's a funny number, and um, it's called Bringing in, Bringing in the Mushrooms. Bringing in the Mushrooms. No, we get our mushrooms from Parkvale. <laughs> I know, that's They're what the we best mushrooms. We Excellent. That's why I thought we'd do the mushroom thing. Here we go then Benny Hill bringing mm-hmm. home the mushrooms. If okay. I can. And now, ladies and gentlemen, they know what they are. We, we have, yeah, we have a treat, treat in, in store. We have a treat in store for you, and indeed, and indeed for all of us too, as well. Well, yeah, yeah. Here to give us a solo. Here to give us a solo is our worthy, is our worthy and respected, and respected yes. choir master respected. Ted Grumble. Well, that's a surprise, I must say. However, since I have been caught upon, I shall give you a new song. It's in The Modern Idiot, and it goes something like this. Now Lucy went down on a farm, tried to milk a cow. Though she tried, she couldn't get the hang of it somehow. The farmer looked at Lucy, and he murmured with a frown. Well, now you just hang on tightly, gal, and she'll jump up and down. Oh, gather in the mushrooms, put them in a pot. Pop them in the oven, and serve them piping hot. Make herself more beautiful, she thought she'd bathe in milk. She said, I'll have a bath full to her milkman, Jackie Wilk. He said, you want it pasteurized before I pour it in? She said, no, I'll be happy if it comes up to me chin. All gather in the mushrooms, put them in a pot. Pop them in the oven and serve them piping hot. The farmer caught it, Lucy, one dark and stormy night. She said, you are too old for me because your hair is white. He looked into her eyes and then he knew he'd have to tell her. There's snow upon the roof, but there's a fire in the cellar. Oh, gather in the mushrooms, put them in a pot. Pop them in the oven, the serve them by the 
She took him in the kitchen. She was his turtle dove. And then she started cooking dumplings on the stove. She wore a low-cut dress. Ooh, it was as green as clover. He jumped with glee because he could see her dumplings boiling over. Oh, gather in the mushrooms, put them in a pot. Pop them in the oven and serve them piping hot. She said, you give me half a crown and I will read your palm. And then she saw his love line went halfway up his arm. So now she's changed her prices, although she's just as willing. It's big fat men at two pound ten and little boys a shilling. All gathering the mushrooms, put them in a pot. Pop them in the oven and serve them piping hot. We're gonna gather in the mushrooms, put them in a pot. Pop them in the oven and serve them piping hot. There we go. There we go. Thank you, Benny Hill. We're back on air with Kylie Mole from Tapas Bar. What, what is the official name of the establishment, Kylie? Bolter Bar and Kitchen. Bolter Bar yeah. and Kitchen. Right. right. Now, what does Bolter mean? Where did that name come from? Well, with lots of research um, and yeah, endless hours trolling, looking just for the perfect name for not only for the bar but for town. Like, it had to be something that would really resonate with our people and mm -hmm. Carterton mm -hmm. and that, um, yeah, was it a place that people would, you know, enjoy going to. And yeah. So um, Bolter basically means to, to come and be and to potentially dance and have fun and not really care about anything else and just just have a fun free time. Spirits. Free, free spirits. Free spirits, yes, mm. yes. So that's Perfect. basically just to come and have fun and, and not yeah. really care about anything else while you, when you walk through those doors. Brilliant. Yeah. Oh, that's great. Yeah, because it, it's a name, like, when you when you put it up, the like, Bolters, what, now what is that, what is that? Yeah, yeah. so it may, it also it, it's interesting for people to come and ask you, yeah. too, and then they come yeah. into the bar and yeah. they, they see it. And, yeah. Yeah. But so to dance uh, without particular grace, but yeah. usually with enjoyment is, yeah. is basically, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I used to do a Duncan dance like that, and a, a dancer from under the early 1900s, yeah. and she danced like that, free yeah. spirit. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And she didn't care what anyone and thought. She, had, she didn't care. Yeah. And that's what Bolt is all about. Yeah. yeah. Brilliant. Okay. Um, now uh, we see that on a Wednesday night you do a burger night and a Thursday night you do a steak night. Um, is that what the locals have actually asked for? Is it well, we just thought once once we kind of got um, our head around doing the tapas, um, we did have a couple of queries um, and we were always going to stand, stand very firm in our you know our belief of just yes. doing tapas and but we saw that there was actually a, you know a wider community and you know particularly big burly farming men and yes. they didn't want to come and share little yeah. dainty plates of food <laughs> so no they <laughs> don't like sharing and so hence um on our quieter nights which is wednesday well was wednesday and thursday they're yes. now two of our busier nights um <laughs> we decided to introduce the burger so um we have a different burger every single Wednesday. Mm -hmm. We do a vegan option, we do a vegetarian option, gluten free, mm -hmm. and then of course we have our whatever our meat burger is. Mm -hmm. um, so this week it was a fried chicken burger. Mm -hmm. um, next week I think we have a beef burger. Okay. So it's a different burger yeah. every week, but yeah. we um, we try to um, change it up and we do a fish burger. So yeah. and I advertise that on the Wednesday so that people know okay. yeah, yeah what yeah. they're in for. And is that do you do a set price for that? Being yep, so that's twenty three dollars. Yeah. And you get our world famous beer bedded fries mm -hmm. with that. Oh, and um and there is never any room for dessert <laughs> after one of our burgers. It is they're very filling. So fantastic. Do you do oh. a venison burger? No we don't actually. Um but maybe it's something we maybe could one day. yeah we could we could get some yeah. venison mince in and do it, and I'll call it the the Rob special. Oh, <laughs> okay, how about that? Okay. <laughs> you better be in that night, Rob. <laughs> the world famous in Carterton. Absolutely. <laughs> now, how are your weekends going regarding the happy hour? I understand you do happy. Well, hours. we do happy hour on a Wednesday, so because Wednesday for most of the population, apart from those in hospitality, it's hump day. So mm -hmm. it's a day to celebrate being our first day open, and also the middle of the week for everyone else. So oh, okay. we do a happy hour from three until five mm. and initially it was really um, to try and get mums in and just mm. bring the kids chuck them in the play area with the slide with some colouring in have a glass of wine it's mm. totally enclosed um, and safe and you know having a young family that was always number one for us was to have an area where children could be you know 
especially you know one and two year olds they mm. just want to go and you just want to sit down and drink a glass of wine without yeah. running around and making sure they're not in the kitchen and they're not helping you do the dishes in the bar and so <laughs> the back door is um is very heavy mm. and it has a big screen on it which the toddlers attempt to climb but um it is totally child proof so the mums can sit and be and you know they can play on the slide they can color and we have a massive toy box yeah so it was really important for me to mm. provide that sort of area for mums mm-hmm. so yeah wednesdays came around for mums you know stopping after school mm-hmm. um but it's we've reached a, you know a much wider audience than just mums and we have lots of regular groups and on a wednesday yeah. now yeah um, and they would be so thankful for that oh, and they like, and yeah there's one particular group um and they come in every wednesday and they just catch up yeah and it's really they're yeah. all retired they need to yeah, yeah. and it's mm. just a real they sit outside mm. and have a bowl of fries and a couple of wines mm. and that happens every single wednesday for them mm-hmm. and then on a thursday i have another lovely group of women they called my thirsty thursday girls <laughs> and thirsty they thursday, they like come that. in every thursday without doubt and they're just a group of cardiston women that just you know it's an excuse to catch up and yeah. get away from work and family mm. and yeah just mm. hang out good so no, this I... explains why Dean had the, <laughs> the bus round in Dixon Street one one night, one afternoon, when school was coming out. Yeah. That's the first time oh, I've seen right. them do breath testing at three o'clock in the afternoon. Oh, uh, yes. well, <laughs> hopefully it's none of my lovely customers. No, we have right. lots of water to dilute the wine. <laughs> yeah. um, we also have a happy hour on a Saturday afternoon, and that's from three till five oh, as well. I knew you had another one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. yeah. So yeah, we just um, pop them up. That's three till five as well. Yeah. So you finish mowing the lawns, mm-hmm. and you want to whip in for a quick mm-hmm. IPA. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah, mm-hmm. so that's really proven Brilliant. popular. Now, is it true that regulars have their own glass? I was told they do. Well, not all regulars. No. You have to be, you know, without <laughs> offending anyone. <laughs> You have to be a bit special. Yeah. And um, I guess it kind of came about, we had these groups like the Thirsty Thursday Girls and then my wonderful Mm -hmm. groups that come in on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. And as they park outside and I see them getting out of their car, I know exactly what they're drinking. They drink the same thing every time. They're really good people Mm -hmm. and, you know, I love them Mm -hmm. a lot. Mm -hmm. So it started out, all of my regular customers got... um, Christmas presents and these were their own glasses and then it's kind of evolved and everyone now that you know is a regular yeah and is a good customer mm. and treats us kindly mm. and respectfully that's tremendous um that's and they drink the same so the catch is you've yeah. got to drink the same thing every time you come right. it's so right. that when you walk in the door your it's drink fair. is on your table it's yeah. ready to go yeah. um and so yeah um yeah. I guess we have probably maybe 30 glasses yeah so so they, they leave them there do they yeah they have to yeah. leave them there mm-hmm. um unfortunately we've had one lovely gentleman which who passed away his glass still st- stands proudly mm-hmm. and his Aww. grandson comes in and occasionally uses it Aww. so um but yeah it stays there and whenever they come and uh, you know, if unfortunately the glass washer has missed a bit of lippy, the next time you come in, you know it's your lipstick and not somebody else's, which is another added bonus of having your own glass. Absolutely. No one else uses I think your it's glass. A great idea. Yeah, you know what? It makes um, mm. my people feel very Special. loved, and you know they are because yeah. without them, mm-hmm. we wouldn't have what no. we've got. No. So. Well, it, it no. certainly opened up the, um, the that broad spectrum of people. <laughs> going to your place and trying new foods mm. because it's a lot of the trouble they won't try something no. new will they so. no and especially um older people mm. um they they just can't get their head around tapas yeah. and once you convince them to give it a go yeah they just think it's the best thing since yeah. sliced bread absolutely yeah. Yeah. I, love, I love the pork belly he's yeah. the pork belly man yeah. My it's good isn't sauce. it yeah, yeah. Oh. with your nice bit of crackling yeah yeah, yeah. now um, we go on to bands now we've mm. been there um, times when you've had the bands in there at the weekend now, where, where do you, where do they come from? How well, you know what, we we actually get a lot of people um, who are travelling through New Zealand from other countries mm. who will get in contact with me and say, look, we're going to be oh. coming through Carterton on this particular date. Uh, we've got this really amazing young guy, and he's from Europe. I want to say Poland. Um, mm. I'm not sure, but he is coming back through in November. He played at the beginning of the year, and he plays the guitar on his lap. And for customers oh. of mine that um, 
have seen him, they will be back. And he is just the most fabulous young yeah. musician. I've got a young, another young guy from England who was coming through next month also. Mm -hmm. And he, so he just contacted me at the beginning of the year and said, I'm doing my OE. Here's a YouTube clip. Oh, Can I come and play? Cool. So lots of people from overseas, right. lots right. of amazing young talent from right here in the Wire Rapper. And you met one of them the other day, oh, Shay Brider. Yes. Yes. Um, he from is, yeah, yeah, he is fabulous. Um, we've had his band in once, but we have Shay in on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. um, just on his own, he is a very, very talented and what a nice young man. Guy too. He is a He's very lovely. nice guy. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, um, and then we've got Dave Mills who plays the keyboard. Um, he's from Greytown. He is absolutely fabulous. He mm. really gets everyone's toes tapping. Mm -hmm. Shane Carter from Martinborough. There's just and um, of course our very own Courtney Nara from oh, Carterton. Yes. Yes. She she yeah. plays at Bolter as well, but she's got a busy life with a young family, so mm -hmm. she's hard to nab. But mm. you know we try and keep it local, but. People come from Wellington, mm. Capiti to play. And isn't that wonderful that you you get calls to say, can we play? Yeah. Here? That's amazing. Oh, it's really That's such lovely. That's fantastic, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. So, yeah, no, fantastic. it's a... So you're becoming world famous, then. Yeah. Well, yeah. <laughs> you know what? Why not? Mm. Indeed. Why not? Yes. Now, how about your staff? You know, do you have staffing problems at all? Um, well, I think every business, especially within new. hospitality, yeah. has. Mm -hmm. And we've had a few teething problems in our kitchen, and I think you know most people who have worked in hospital yeah. uh, will agree with me that yeah. you know finding really good kitchen staff is difficult. Mm. Um, so my stepdaughter, who was a barista at Entice Cafe, she came on board. Um, Oh, about a year ago, mm -hmm. and she now runs the kitchen. She's mm. nearly 22, oh, and she is fierce. She's some amazing food. And she, she is training everyone job. that comes through that kitchen she yeah. trains. Yeah. She does everything in the mm. kitchen. She is our little firecracker. Mm. So um, she is, yeah, she's been... I've been in her life since she was seven. Yeah. So we have your usual yeah. mum and daughter. <laughs> yeah, ups and down. But for the most part, yeah. you know, but I can tell her, you know, what I need to tell yes. her without her getting upset with me or, yeah. So, so it's a true family business. It is a true family yeah. business. Simon tries to work once or twice a month and he works with Georgia on a steak night on a Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, but his his main role is he's an insurance assessor for IAG, so oh, okay. that is his full time right. job. But he does like to keep his hand and to, you know, help out and yeah. be part of the team. Yeah. So tremendous. Because we were looking after a winery at one stage. Which, yeah. You know, many varied occupations oh. we had, and that had a full restaurant on it. Yeah. With, with one chef. And yeah. we'd never done anything in the, our lives like that before, had no. we? No. God. No. How did they you get on? Us to do it. We had one chef and a girl doing the bus. Yeah. yeah. Clearing the table. Yeah. And there was another lady with us. Yeah. The, uh, the, the other ladies that, that we the they waitress. asked if we'd go and well they went away to Australia. Wow. Um, they had to go away on business. Yeah. Well, no family, and. Yeah. Um, and oh yeah, yeah, will you do it? Yeah, 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 we'll do it. Oh, my God, I've never worked so hard in all my life. It but did you have fun? Tough. We well, well, yes, we did yeah. afterwards. Yeah, <laughs> when, you, when we were working, it yeah, was full on. You enjoyed yeah. that glass of wine at the but end of the, the day, glass I bet. Of wine was very welcome. Yeah. 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 At the end of the day, yeah, yeah. Nice to, it's yeah. tough because we'd never wine. done it, so yeah. we had no idea. Yeah, um, but, uh, but but everybody got fed, and yeah, everybody awesome. said they'll come back again. Yeah. Oh, that's and that's that's the most important bit. Long after we done our stint, um, Keith, the chef, left. I, I know he left. Mm. But there seems to be a, a sort of movement of chefs around. Yeah, there. I think it's just, it's, it is a hard industry. It and is. But fortunately, we're only open five days a week, so um, oh. no one in the kitchen works more than sort of mm. 40, 45 hours. So it's not, it um, kitchen yeah. usually closes uh, around 8.30 mm. to 9.30. Mm -hmm. So, and then we have, we have two cooking, so you know they alternate nights that they finish early so mm -hmm. they can still have a weekend you know right. if they want to go out to you know a party or something because we do have a young crew in the kitchen yes so we've mm -hmm. had you know a few teething problems in the kitchen but at the moment touch wood mm -hmm. we have mm -hmm. got you know really great diligent yeah. hard working yeah. but you know what yeah. not one single person in our kitchen has any experience mm -hmm. and i really want to express mm -hmm. you know how hard they work and yeah. how good and consistent our food is considering we don't have a fully qualified chef yeah. Yeah. so you know oh, you just have to be amazing. diligent yeah. and you know be able to listen to instruction follow instructions and yeah. you know you can produce some really amazing and food. just appreciate 
the people what they're doing for you Absolutely. And, and the same and, and it works both ways yeah. doesn't it yeah well, there you um, go staff you yeah. heard it on the radio yeah <laughs> Praise from the boss. <laughs> yeah, so oh, what absolutely. Are your opening hours then. What, okay, so close Monday, Tuesday. So close Monday and Tuesday. Oh. Wednesdays and Thursdays we open at three, and we generally close around ten on those those days. Um, and then Friday, Saturday, and Sunday we open at twelve. So we open for lunch. Mm -hmm. We have a lunch menu and a brunch menu on those three days, mm -hmm. um, and then we have tapas available from twelve as well. So okay. uh, our kitchen never closes. So as soon as our doors open, mm -hmm. our kitchen is fully open. So, mm -hmm. which is it's nice. Mm. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, Sundays we tend to close a little bit earlier. Right. Um, generally we're kind of locked up and out of there by about nine o'clock. So. But every other night of the week, we have a license till 12, so, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah, if you want to stay and have a couple of drinks after yeah. dinner, yeah. we're always around. So that's that's the other thing, isn't it? Um, that's what Rob and I like to do as well, is um, you you will have your dinner at home yeah. and stuff, yeah, and, then, and then go out yeah. for coffee and dessert, dessert or yeah. a glass of wine. We have a lot dessert. of people actually do walking that? their dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And they'll pop in and they'll get a takeaway coffee uh -huh. or they'll sit out the front with their dog and have a glass of wine and uh -huh. a brownie. Oh, okay. So, And that's usually around 8.39 at night and yeah. that is really, oh, especially in summer, that yeah. happens a lot more in summer. In summer yeah. yeah, and yeah. people are out walking and they just pop in for a glass of wine after dinner. Yeah. So that is a really nice a nice thing to do yeah, as well. I've, done that. I've popped in for a coffee. Yeah. You know what, what a favourite is, especially for the dads, is they um, say, I'll go and get the fish and chips and then they, oh. they order the fish and chips and, and they, they pop in for a quick lager and they say Kyle and I say grab a curiously strong mint so no one knows you've been to Bolter <laughs> and so for a lot of dads that has kind of become a yeah, weekly tradition yeah. oh. they grab the fish and chips and they sneak in for a, yeah. a quick pint and a catch yeah. up and, and well, the, well the chips and fish and chips yeah a cooking yeah. across the road yeah and um, and then they sneak and no one's any the I wiser <laughs> <laughs> oh wow, never mind. Fish and chip sales. Will yeah. Be full of it. <laughs> no dads will be allowed to leave the house without the kids. <laughs> okay. Um, now, as we've said, you know, your place is always packed. It's always jumping. And it's purely because of the food. Um, the food is so good and your staff are excellent. And, of course, the hostess with the mostess, of course, they come back for you too, Kylie. We know that. Well, I'd like to think so. Um, so are there any plans to expand your business at all? Well, you know, I can't say too much at this stage. No, but, um, but in the future. In, in the future. future. I mean, I guess probably having you know the few teething problems that we've had with s kitchen staff mm -hmm. probably would be the one you know the one thing kind of mm -hmm. holding us back a little bit oh. um but yeah i can't say too much but no, you know just just no, watch the space it, yeah. just watch yeah. the space you know what i think yeah. you know we could do with a couple more bolters maybe not here in the wire wrapper mm -hmm. but maybe yeah. you know you could further franchise, out. It out. franchise you know anyone want to buy a bolter yeah. franchise <laughs> yeah. Yeah. you know the world is our oyster yeah. and you know we've come up with this really great you know formula yeah which is having really great yeah. front of house staff yeah. and you know we haven't had any turnover in our front of house staff since we opened 18 months no, ago well, that's that's you that's just show no, yeah show and you know what so all of my staff know all of my customers names yeah they know their kids they know what they like to eat what they like to drink mm -hmm. uh, which is really important yeah. when you walk in the door and even if you've only been in twice that my staff are able to say lovely to see you again mm -hmm. how's mm -hmm. you know your yeah. job or yeah. so yeah. and you know when you have a high turnover front of house staff you just lose that yeah, authenticity yeah. so um wonderful for the public too you know as a customer it's lovely to go in rob likes that don't you like do. to go in and be yeah. remembered yeah. well you do want to be yeah. remembered i went i remember i lived in another town in the wire Rapper for about two years and i went in this well actually no it was about a year went into the same coffee shop had the same coffee every mm -hmm. single thursday mm -hmm. um the same girl served me mm -hmm. Never once did she ask me my name remember what coffee oh, i drank or there was no sp and i'm just i actually mm. Mm. That really made me sad. You were just a number. Yeah. yeah, and you know, but she was, yeah. yeah. And that kind of made me sad. And so wherever Simon and I have been, service has been our yes, absolute yes. number one. Like, mm. you can have great food, you can have the best wine list, yeah. but if you have bad service, yes. um, yeah, so that has it's always key. been our number it's one key. priority. It's key for any business, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That's what it is about Bolter. It's like walking into your own extended it's kitchen. A, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, you're front <laughs> well, that's right. It's like like we're yeah. British, obviously. I knew there was mm. um, But <laughs> our thing, um, we've been brought up in England. Mm. The pub mm. is your front room. Mm. You, no one drinks at home. No. You don't have no. drinking. You go to the pub. Yeah, yeah. Um, 
and we miss that when we yeah. when we came here. Yeah. But places like yours, um, yeah. it it's an extension of that yeah. for us. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people feel that way too when they walk into your. Oh, place. absolutely! Like if if you're not into being hugged or adored, mm -hmm. it's probably not the right place because <laughs> even if I've never met you before, you're usually going to get a hug on departure, and some people don't like it and they may never come back, and that's mm -hmm. okay mm -hmm. because that's what we're about. I'm a very touchy feely yes. sort of a girl, yeah. and um, yeah everyone pretty much yeah. gets a hug and okay. some of the old boys really like that oh, of course you know? they do. <laughs> um yeah <laughs> probably you know some of them are on their own they haven't been yeah. touched yeah. by and a, you know just a, a pat yeah. on the arm or a hug on their on their departure mm. just means yeah. so we have a lot of older gentlemen that are on their own yeah. and all they want to do is they want to come and have a beer and have a little chat yeah. and just be cared about just for that moment in time mm. and so yeah. yeah yeah and they feel special yeah. that's right and so yeah it is difficult like I was saying earlier you know when we are busy and we kind of lose that time mm. to be able to spend with our customers but mm. you know everyone understands that mm. you know yeah. it's a busy wee place yeah yeah no, absolutely well you can hug and adore me anytime you like. <laughs> oh thanks <laughs> Rob as long as I don't get in trouble with your wife no, and no. that's the one thing I'd hate to offend any wives ladies I've got a lovely husband <laughs> yeah. if I hug your husband so it doesn't mean anything it doesn't mean anything yeah. he just loves it anyway. yeah yeah um, so all of this and this business and it's so exciting for you and you're so so busy well how about your family life what, what how many well, children do you have so I have you're two on, you're boys to reveal anything you don't yeah know. no that's all right no no it's all everyone knows everything mm. about me I'm sure <laughs> um, so well I have two boys I have Ashton who is um, four and a half mm -hmm. I have Lucas who's nearly nine mm -hmm. um, I've got three lovely stepchildren who um, who are living in different parts of, uh, we've got two boys in Tauranga and I've got Georgia of course here in the Wairapa. So my husband has been a busy boy and had, you know, five kids. <laughs> I've only got two, but um, they <laughs> are, they, oh, no, that's it. We're done and dusted. <laughs> done. done. Snippity snip. Um, so, so two little boys at home mm -hmm. and, and I will be honest, the first year was tough. It was tough on yes, the whole family yeah. because Simon's not only, you know, running his own business while well, working for IAG, but he was um, being mum and dad at home in the evenings mm. doing all of the stories because I was pretty much there yes. all the hours at so God's so end. brave to do the business when you did. Yeah. yeah, it was just the right time for Carterton. Mm -hmm. um, there was certainly a gap mm -hmm. uh, and we wanted somewhere that we could walk to or bike to within Carterton with our kids, have a meal, yeah. have a glass of wine, be able to walk home via the playground um, and there just yeah. wasn't mm. there just wasn't that for yeah. us. Mm -hmm. So, you know, hence Bolter came about mm -hmm. and um, it has just been so well received mm. by not only Carterton but we have yeah. regulars coming from north of Masterton, Featherston. Yeah. We actually had an amazing couple in two weeks ago. They had on their timeline on Facebook had popped up that they had been at Bolter uh, one year ago today. Oh. And so they thought, stuff it, it's a beautiful day, let's yeah. jump in the car and go back to Bolter. So oh, exactly really? one, and I served them that uh -huh. day that they came a year ago, and then I served them again and they told me the story. And, you know, for people to jump yeah. in their car and drive an hour and a half just to come yeah. and have lunch with us yeah. is my god it just yeah. makes me yeah. feel and then so they special. tell their friends and and, and they absolutely yes yeah, yeah absolutely so yeah um the, the their first year was pretty tough on my family but mm. um mm. lucas my youngest calls me dad mum <laughs> <laughs> because dad is around you know still a lot yeah. um i try and have sundays off that doesn't always happen mm. um and then mondays and tuesdays of course i'm around but um dad mm. is amazing and this was probably more my dream than Simon's dream, mm -hmm. um, and it actually took a lot of coaxing mm -hmm. to get him to, to come around to the idea because I think he realised more so than myself about the sacrifices yeah. that we were going to have to make as a family. Yeah. Um, but you know what? We, we've just had a really lovely yeah. holiday in Bali, which we would never have been able to no, do. No. Pri prior to this, I had a, a small gardening business. I had two customers, and that was just you know a little bit of pocket money. Mm -hmm. Now I, have a, I earn a small wage, mm -hmm. and oh, yeah. I can take my family away. And yeah. at the end of the day, you know, if I can you know, take this the kids away yeah. once a year, and they will realise that this is why mum is doing yeah. what she's doing. Yeah. yeah. So it's the bonus, isn't it? Being able to treat them like that. To, absolutely. To something really. We special. certainly couldn't have before. No. So um, and you know we just we've created this really lovely thing in our town that mm. 
people tell us every day that they appreciate. Mm. John Booth is one of my favourite oh, customers. Oh, we are so lucky <laughs> He's to everybody's yeah. favourite. He's lovely. And, you know, he does have his own glass with John Boy on it. I call him John Boy. He probably <laughs> hates it, but I don't care. And, um, you know, and every day he, I will hear him telling someone, yeah. Kylie has done such a great thing for this town yeah. and yeah. you know we didn't actually go into it to do that no, we just you wanted have to any idea, would you? no what would no happen? we didn't realize the impact and the effect that it was going to have and you know I urge anyone out there mm. if they want to start anything in Carterton you will get the support mm. you will get the love like oh, you just gosh. bring it you will get it yeah. like I promise you you just have to have a little bit of courage yeah. You know, a, a good bank manager helps. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, our first, our first one didn't like us very much, so we <laughs> went to the lovely team at ANZ, and they helped us out mm -hmm. because it's not cheap to mm -hmm. start, to do what we've done. Yeah. You know, Take Note was a, a bookshop for 120 years mm. uh, of various various different names. Yes. So. Um, it was pretty stressful, but you just got to dig in and just think about your end goal. If, if your dream is strong enough, it will happen. It will. Absolutely. If you can, Gosh, if you can conscious. dream it, you can achieve it, yeah. and that is my mantra. Yeah. And I'd like to think that my children would, you know, have seen what Simon and I have achieved mm -hmm. with absolutely no experience. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I won't lie. It was hard. Mm. There's lots of tears. Yeah. Uh, lots of times I just, because I was working on site 12 hours a day, mm. seven days a week, Which along with the builders. Been, wouldn't show, yeah. Absolutely. Well, we had to mm. save every cent that we could. So um, I stopped my business and I, you know, I painted that whole pergola outside on my own. And, you know, I'd be out there at nine o'clock at night and crying, thinking, <laughs> what the hell yeah. am I doing? I just want to be I at home imagine, with my kids. Yeah, yeah. It was really tough, but I just had to dig my heels. And I'm, mm -hmm. my dad calls me a mongrel, mm -hmm. but a mongrel in the nicest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because I am mongrel. Like, as mm -hmm. soon as I set my mind to something, mm -hmm. there is no way that I'm going to stop. Yeah. And yeah. having such a supportive husband, you know, I can achieve anything. So watch out, world. <laughs> Walters, <laughs> who is, you know, the yeah. best guy. Yeah. In the you world. did a marvellous paint job on the outside. I, yeah. say, <laughs> I remember you two walking sure past. Oh, <laughs> Look at that. But now the greenery. Yeah. I've added the greenery. I've added the greenery. Yeah. The greenery yeah. looks fabulous. Yeah, and so um, just in time for the garden tour, yeah. which is coming up this month. Yes, it is. So we might add a little bit of colour into our green yeah. wall and yeah. you know, hopefully it'll spur some other businesses in High Street to. This is why I find you so amazing, um, Kylie, is because you, you look outside the box mm. and you can see what what's happening or about to happen and you'll you'll jump on that yeah and you'll go with it well it's important you know yeah. we've had these really amazing creative people mm. coming to our town well a lot of them live in Carterton you know the Kokomai um, girls mm. are Carterton yeah. we have Wings Over Raya Rapper, Jenny Gasson you know these girls are all from Carterton yes. and they're bringing these amazing events and all of these yeah. people to our town to our doorstep yeah. so you know when they do that we need to showcase yeah. our town mm -hmm. to you know the people that are coming from all around New Zealand mm -hmm. um, to these amazing events. And I think this is the thing it's all about um, the people in Carterton. Some people come from over the hill and and they look and go oh it's a bit tired isn't it? I know. And why do you live here? I know. And they always ask why you know and I, you don't understand. We, we're here because of the people. The community. Yes. It, it's, yeah. yeah. We may have a tired high street, and, and that's not going to be like that mm -hmm. forever. Mm -hmm. But when you really get down to the nuts and bolts. Mm -hmm. It's all about Oh, my here. word. Who lives here is the most important. And we're, we have such a diverse, mm -hmm. you know, group of people yeah, we do. moving. Yeah. We have yes. people moving from Auckland, well, from Christchurch. than we do about that, going ah, into your business. If, every day. Like if someone, a newbie comes in, they're called, so a new person is called a bolter virgin. <laughs> and sometimes I leave out the virgin, so I might have like an 80 year old man and I'll say, Oh, you're a virgin. And he'll look at me like I'm bloody bonkers. And, I say, <laughs> and then I explain myself, but I just love that initial yeah. reaction, especially yeah. out of someone a bit older. Yeah. And, um, and so I always ask their story. Mm. And you know, some of the stories are mm. so fabulous. Mm. Um, I have one couple, he lived in the South Island, she lived in the Waikato, and they met online. <gasps> and they, so I know, oh. and they dated for years, and they have a child together, yeah. and they lived separately, and now they live in the wire wrapper together. Yeah. But unless you actually speak to people yeah. and ask them about their story, mm -hmm. yeah. um, you know, 
that is a really important mm. part of, mm. of Carterton because yeah. people actually care. Yeah, we know people that they live separately like that. They're mm. in love, mm. quite thoroughly in love, and mm. they, they, but they live separately. They mm. choose to do that. Mm. But um, they Skype each other at dinner time oh. and they both have dinner together. Oh, that's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> So do they live within the Wairapa? No, no, they, uh, they live overseas. But uh, one lives in Milan and the other one lives in Parma. Uh, and they and they, um, they do How wonderful. And you can make Skype. it happen, can't yeah, you? Yeah, of course you can. But if you're going to come together, what better place to come together than yeah. Carterton? Yes. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Stunning. Yeah. People oh, well. moving into Ashmore Park and the village. Yeah. Like there's a lot of building going on too. Yeah. There's yeah. more yeah. people. Yeah, you know, there's a lot, there's a lot happening, yeah. and it's all bubbling away under the surface. Yeah. And you know, watch the space because yeah. the, you know, Carterton yeah. is just feel booming. I'm coming your place. It's absolutely pumping. Yeah, and there's not not a, a, a table to be yeah. had. Yeah, and we love that. And then I'm we love it. Oh, I want to push through. Let's push through. <laughs> no, more tables. no, because it makes us, you know, quite often on a Wednesday we have we have to turn people away, uh -huh. which you know is it's bad yeah. but it's also great mm -hmm. because it means that you know in the middle of the week in the middle of Carterton we've got this really fun thing happening and yeah. everyone wants to be part of it yeah. so um, it is, and great. it makes it yeah I mean we could take over another building or mm -hmm. you know expand but and then it just wouldn't be Bolter. No, probably. It wouldn't be Bolter. And where do you find Bolter? Right opposite Holloway Street. I yeah. Mean, you're right opposite. Yeah. So plenty of parking in the high street. We still allow parking down both sides of the high street. Mm -hmm. No parking no meters. Parking no parking meters. meters. No, free parking. Fancy yeah. yeah. that. Yeah. But, uh, and also there's a car park up Holloway Street, but if you're coming south, that's great. You can turn left into Holloway Street. If you're travelling north, you've got to go around the block Mm. to get to it. Yeah, you generally mm. find something There's plenty out of parking the front. space around. Yeah. Yep. And how do people contact you if they want to book an... Uh, so um, the easiest way is to either leave uh, a message on our phone, which is 0637992522. All the information's on our website, um, www.bolter.co.nz, or you can go to our Facebook page. That will mm. also have our menu, yeah. our opening hours, um, and yeah, probably Messenger is yeah. a really great way. Or yeah. email um, Kylie at info.co.nz. Yeah. Kylie at Bolter, sorry. Yeah. .co .nz. Right. So cool. you heard it here, folks. Yeah. If you want to meal at Come Bolter, and see us. Yeah. 9252. Or go to your Facebook page. Yeah, Facebook page. And a lot of a lot of what we have going on um, in regards to our burgers, our music, um, anything that we have going on is advertised on Facebook. That is just the best yeah. way for us Facebook, to reach uh, yeah, yeah. people. I usually advertise things on the front window if it's our burger night, our steak night, live music, yeah. so that people just, you know, driving past, dropping the kids off at school, they yeah. can kind of see what's happening yeah. on that particular yeah. day. It's a great site. So, yeah, yeah I just mm -hmm. want to say thanks to the Wire Rapper for just supporting us so hugely. Mm -hmm these novices um, from mm. Hamilton that knew nothing and thanks for trusting us mm. <laughs> with, with everything that well, you do. it's and been amazing. Well, it's been amazing. It's been a great journey. It's been a really great yeah. journey. On behalf of the Wire Rapper, thanks for doing yeah, that. Yeah, thank uh, you. Thanks, <laughs> thanks Robin Val. Having the idea and, and making it happen. Yeah. And bringing our town to life. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. It's been our absolute pleasure. Yeah. I love my job. I love waking up every day mm -hmm. and uh, donning my whatever I'm wearing on that particular day. Yeah. Usually something from Vinnie's or the Salvation Army because yeah. I'm a bit of an op shopper. Yeah. Um, and, you know, as soon as that passion stops, then it will be my time mm -hmm. to move on. But at the moment, passion is fierce. Mm -hmm. oh, and um, watch the space for lots of really cool, fun Fine. things happening at Bolter. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much for coming yeah, in. Really, really Thanks really for having me. Yeah. You know, and I won't lie, I was petrified. No, I know you were. Um, but you know but you what? See, thanks it's, for. It's, it's easy. So yeah, you, thanks for letting me feel talking, so comfortable. Talking in the bar. We just don't have a glass of wine. I know. <laughs> Maybe it was a little later, I could have snuck one in. <laughs> must, must have a chat with the management about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> a little wine fridge. Okay, thanks okay. a lot. And now we're going to uh, play uh, now, Bohemian Rhapsody. Mainly because. Queen is coming to the cinema. Oh yes, it's it's, it's on right now. It's on, on its way. Um, it's on at the Regent and Screening Room. Um, it started on Thursday, and so there were gonna... two sessions going: an afternoon session and an evening session. So we'll and play. And it's all about the band Queen. It is. So, so we'll, we'll play. play Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Mm. Here we go. Is, is this the real life? Is this just fantasy? Caught in a landslide No escape from reality 
Open your eyes, look up to the skies and see. Just killed a man Put a gun against his head Pulled my trigger, now he's dead Mama, life had just begun But now I've gone and thrown it all away Mama, ooh, Will you do the bandango? Thunderbolt and lightning, very, very frightening me. Galileo, 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 Galileo Magnifico! Oh, oh, oh. I'm just a poor boy, nobody loves me. He's just a poor boy from a poor family, sparing his life from this monstrosity. Easy come, easy go, will you let me go? Bismillah, no, we will not let you go. Let him go! Mamma mia, mamma mia, mamma mia, let me go. Beelzebub has a devil put aside for me, for me.
Hello, listeners. We're back on air again. That was a lovely Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. We enjoyed that. So now for a commercial break. Yeah. Val, are you going to go... OK. ...first with your teddy bear's picnic? So, yeah. Is, like, the, is the camera... Is the camera working so that... Yes. Can you see this on screen? Mm -hmm. Well, you have to read it then because I can't, I can't read it backwards. The teddy bear picnic's going to be taking place... The Teddy Bear's Picnic... Yeah. Oh, now the camera's gone to me. Teddy Bear's Picnic is on Saturday the 3rd of November. That's tomorrow. 11.30 till 1.30. Free entry and entertainment. And it's at Henley Lake on the Colombo Road entrance. So... There we go. Don't get mm -hmm. the wrong entrance. No, you spoke. <laughs> don't get the wrong entrance. It's at the Colombo Road entrance, which we all know so well when we're feeding ducks and swans and what have you. Yeah. Teddy bear's picnic, children will love it. Right. OK, and just a, a reminder that um, it is the fireworks display at the um, sh uh, Solway Showgrounds um, tomorrow night. Oh, tonight. It's tonight. Is it tonight? Yes, it's tonight. Oh. Um, gates open at 6.30 and the fireworks... The fireworks will commence after dark. Um, children under five are free. Thirteen onwards, upwards, it's uh, five dollars. There's parking available, and please be safe. Keep your children safe, and that's the whole point of having um, a display. One huge display like this is so the children are kept safe away from um, fireworks done in back gardens. So. Um, children uh, really enjoy this and um, yeah all right yep and at the tin hut live on Wednesday evening the ain't superstitious and the Express are doing a live music show and it's 7:30 till 10:30 there's a door charge of seven dollars fifty but to compensate there's happy hour from 6 p a 6 p.m to 7 p.m all down on State Highway 2, down by Taranika Racecourse. We all know where that is. OK, and um, in Carterton, there will be the annual plant sale, which will be held at the Carterton Farmer's Market on Sunday the 4th of November, this coming Sunday, 9 o'clock till 12.30. Um, so there'll be a huge um, amount of plants that they'll be uh, selling there, and it's all uh, for fundraising, community fundraising. So get yourselves along to the annual plant sale at the farmer's market. Now, the Southwire Upper District Council are doing various activities for the, um, the Armistice Centenary 2018, which is coming up on Wednesday the 7th. You can join a bus tour of the Wairapa military sites at 8 a.m. And on Saturday the 10th, there's the tour of the soldiers' cemetery. And on Sunday the 11th, the service at the cemetery, as it will be in many cenotaphs. Repeat mm -hmm. remember, Sunday the 11th is Re Remembrance Sunday. Yeah. And the unveiling of the of the Featherston Camp sculpture will mm. be on the 10th of November, mm. the 620,000... Paul Dibble sculptor mm. commemorating the World War, World War I Featherston military camp, mm. New Zealand's largest military camp, will be unveiled, unveiled mm. on Saturday the 10th of November. That's brilliant. And um, we know it's early to <coughs> say at the moment the Christmas parade that will be taking place um, in Carterton on Saturday the 24th of November and in Masterton here on the 1st of December. Um, although we're talking about it now, um, we're talking about it purely because people have to get their floats together. Think about what you want, what uh, what businesses want to um, to get their floats out there, and uh, and go for it. The children love the uh, <laughs> the Santa parades. Hey, I'm, I'm pretty impressed with it myself. Okay, <laughs> yeah, it's always it's always uh, very well done, isn't it? Both areas, yeah, all through. Well, all through the Wadadapa, really. They really do make a make a a good attempt, don't they? Yep, and for those people who are keen cyclists. The Avanti Plus Tour of the Wire Wrapper takes place on Sunday the 11th of November, which is a week on Sunday. So, look, watch out for uh, news about that on hurryhurry.co.nz. Mm. It's only a 120-kilometre ride, or 90 kilometres, or 50 kilometres. Oh, OK, I might be able to do on, the 50. Uh, yeah. <laughs> 
And it's a good way to warm up for the Lake Taupo Challenge, oh, it says gosh. here. I'd need an electric bike to do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, now, there will be a tent expo for those campers out there that uh, are looking to uh, to get themselves some new equipment. Um, it's going to be at the Copthorne um, grounds there. It's um, put on by um, the Wairarapa Hunting and Fishing. And it's on Saturday, uh, tomorrow, the 3rd of November, 9 till 3 o'clock. And it's going to be on the the front of the Copthorne Hotel there on the grass area there. So um, if you're just passing by and uh, you feel you 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 uh, you might like to have a look and uh, the, see what they they um, got there for the camping equipment etc. Um, get yourselves over there and uh, get get something new, particularly for Christmas. Be um, yeah Christmas presents and stuff. Oh, yeah, would be bad. and holidays. Yeah. Yeah. Now, those people that are involved in the Ngāti Kahangunu Kiwarapa Tamaki Nui Arua Settlement Trust, they invite all whānau, iwi and hapu to their ratification hui in Mongakino. Now, note that the date has changed. There's a new date for the Mongakino ratification hui. It is Monday the 5th of November, 6 to 8 p.m., so don't turn up any other time because you'll be too early or too late. And it's at 57 Moana Crescent, Mongakino. And I think that's about it, isn't it, oh, for oh, all the, the ads? Just a brief mes message about mm. um, Toast Martin Brews coming up again, as, uh, as it does every year on the 18th of November. Hope you've got your tickets for that because if you haven't, they've probably sold out already. Mm, they're always a sellout. Very that, popular, yeah. mm. very popular. And if you miss out on that, you can always go on the Wairapa Garden Tour in support of Pukaha on the 10th and 11th of November, sponsored by Rival Health. So 15 gardens, two days to join the choir. <laughs> choir? Join the tour. <laughs> <laughs> well, if you feel like better joining the choir. <laughs> yeah, you're sing it. along. <laughs> and all the details are on www.wairapagardentour.co.nz. And... <laughs> I think that's it, isn't it, Rob? Last but least, a little oh. piece that was tucked away in the corner of a page talks about the Wairapa Community Law Centre. Now, these people operate in the following outreach clinics and they, operate, they offer free legal information and assistance and law-related education. Mm. Now, in the case, their first Tuesday of each month in Pahiatur and Ekerehuna, uh, 10 o'clock in Pahia Tour at the Heartlands office and etc, etc. So watch out for that. Have a look at the uh, website, which I can't see just at the moment. But phone 0800 924 252. Mm. So, and their office is at the first floor, Sports Warrapper Building, corner of Chapel and Jackson in Masterton. So if you need so, any, but, any help... Um, yeah with the lawyer and uh, you, you you haven't got any money, well, they, they are putting on a good service, aren't they? Yep. Yeah. So I think that's it for today. So thank you, listeners, and okay. thank you, viewers, yeah. now that we now have. So And thank you for listening and take care of yourselves over the weekend yep. and we'll see you all again next Friday. Be very careful with the fireworks and remember what Jane Mills told you about earthquake readiness last week. Mm. All right, so that's it for today for us, okay. folks, and we'll just... Bye. Bye and play. Wasted days and wasted nights I have left for you behind For you don't belong to me Your heart belongs to someone else Why should I keep loving you When I know that you're not true And why should I Call your name when you're the blame for making me blue. Don't you remember the day that you went away and left me? I was so lonely, praying for you only. My love. 
Why should I keep loving you When I know that you're not true And why should I call your name When you're the blame for me 